Hey everybody, Fat Magic here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how a bunch of people think I'm cheating and how to make your aim also look like a cheater. It's going to improve your game sense, essentially. Let's jump into it. So there seems to be some guys out there who think they found definitive proof of me cheating. You know, they thought they caught me slipping up, but in reality, I caught them slipping up. Alright, I'm here at the clip, 342. Let's see what's going on. We're back, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go to the... <laughs> Did you miss it? <laughs> let's, go, let's go back. Okay, so people were linking it at 345, so I'm just going to go through the entire clip. Let's see what's going on here. I right, come here, I aim at the hallway, and no one's there. Okay, that's probably not what they're referring to, obviously. <laughs> okay, I'm just being, like, dumb now. Let's skip, let's skip ahead. Come on. Okay, it's right here. So I flick to the left, right? I go up and over, down, straight, and then... So I, I set up my crosshair here, and then I hold the D button on my keyboard to peak the angle. And as you can see here, it lines up perfectly with the pyro. <laughs> That's so good. I did it like this. <laughs> but look, this whole time, I'm holding A or D, and my mouse is not moving, right? Like, I'm just following this guy. And then when I start to go down the stairs, I move my mouse right here. I move it, you can see. And then I continue holding D, and look, now I'm perfectly tracing his the tip of his gun, click clear um hacker movements here, you see. Perfect tracking on his uh his phlogistonator or no his his dragon's fury there, you see. I'm still all I'm doing is holding the D button and not moving my mouse. This is an old video and this is actually a dumb peek by me. I don't know why I would just like snap and then just hold D and hope someone lines up like Guitar Hero style. Like this. And then, you know, that's it. it. It goes to the next thing. So that's what everyone's up in arms about. I distinctly remember why I put that clip in. If you notice in my videos, I put every clip with a purpose. Or at least I try to. That's the goal anyways. But I do go through each clip myself. I edit my own videos. And the thought process behind this clip is, wow, that lined up perfectly. That would be hilarious to fuck with some people. <laughs> I guess it bit me in the ass. And no, he's not making excuses. I'm actually serious. That was genuinely what I decided to do. Oh man, it's so good that it worked. It worked so much later though. It took like more than a year for it to work. So that's something. So. What's actually going on here is what people who know how to play first-person shooters call crosshair placement. And despite there being a plethora of videos on my channel, only this one clip seems to be what people latch on to. So, you guys got baited by me, and probably by someone else. <laughs> I think it's targeted because this seems to be people's only real proof on the entirety of my channel. And they all, you know, just kind of came at the same time, essentially. You know, in the same time frame, right? just randomly. So my guess is some genius guy looked at this and was like, oh, look, guys, he snapped to a pyro looking around a corner. He's cheating, guys. I don't know anything about shooters. <laughs> you know, and then everyone just believed it. I don't know. I don't know. This is an assumption, like I said. So like, I can't, I'm not going to pretend like I know what's going on. <laughs> but yeah, anyone who actually watches closely my videos with the eyes that are in their head, <laughs> notice that I snapped to corners always you know do all those 180s and stuff to check my surroundings constantly you know especially in my videos where i'm more of the cars man <laughs> especially in my videos where i'm more focused right you know i'm playing the game well all that stuff when you play like this you're bound to get perfect predictions and nice shots off from time to time you know that's the whole point of doing that <laughs> so you can be prepared but if you look at any other video, including that very same video where that clip is from, you'll see me doing the same thing, regardless of people being there or not, because that's how you play properly. <laughs> I'm not really upset, but I'm pretty shocked, to be honest, that people would like spread this hefty accusation around, you know? It's just like one really stupid clip, you know? They're like, oh, I gotta spread my, my garbage idea to the world. <laughs> Critical thinking or something, you know, it'll, it'll help.
Anyways, this video is going to be me teaching you guys about crosshair placement. So let's jump into a game I recorded a while ago. I was purposely going out of my way to practice crosshair placement. It was, it was a little over the top, but you'll get the gist of it. But wait a second, Fat Magic. What is crosshair placement? Well, I am very glad you have asked me that. All right, so I'm gonna simplify crosshair placement for you guys. It is simply put your crosshair where you think opponents are going to be. So you can do this as any class in any first person shooter, really, not just TF2, but for sniper specifically, you wanna keep your crosshair at head level. So, you know, I'm peeking this, this is where their heads are gonna be, you know, their heads are gonna be up here, up here, right? On the roof, maybe, maybe over here. That's just kind of how it is, so that's essentially what I was doing when I was peeking this in that video. You know, you come here, I was like, oh, it could, kind of <laughs> it could come here, you know, and that's 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 around head level, right? You never want to have your crosshair, like, I see some people playing like this. I don't know what the hell you're shooting at, like, the pumpkin, like, that's not where you're shooting. <laughs> or some people are, like, all looking around, like, like, oh, oh, yeah, where is, where is, like, you can't see anyone. Like, if I'm looking up here, how am I supposed to see down at, at this doorway, you know? It's like... You gotta, you gotta be looking where you think people are gonna be, right? That, that, that's crosshair placement. Very simple, very very basic, but you know it could be difficult to implement just for it to be automatic. But once you do have it automatic, you know, your peeking angles and things that people might show up at, it's going to make your... It's just gonna make your life easier, honestly. <laughs> Get used to doing it. Practice it. It's worth it. All right, guys, so here we have a post commentary. As you can see, I'm doing a lot of things. I'm checking a lot of places. This is crosshair placement. So when I went into this game, my focus was I'm just going <laughs> to miss the first shot. <laughs> I'm just going to focus on crosshair placement. Like, I'm going to be a maniac. Like, you don't have to be like this thorough, to be honest, but you, you could, right? But this is just more for demonstration purposes and to. This is how I practice specific things that I want to work on as Sniper. So, we're warming up here. You know, we got two kills. It took us a second to aim for that heavy for some reason. And he just starts teleporting. Look at that. I just give up on him because I was like, I don't want to deal with this. Okay, we get him. Nice. <laughs> but yeah, we're getting warmed up here. We're going to start hitting some more shots. Once I get crisp, you know, then they start rolling it. <laughs> got crisp. Look at that. <laughs> You know, just checking. Notice how often I do 180s. Also, I don't know how the hell that hit. Like, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> TF2 is phenomenal. But just look, look how often I, I do 180s here. Right? This is how a lot of spies seem to be convinced I'm cheating is because I just check all the time. And if, eventually, if someone's behind me, I'm gonna find them. And they're gonna be like, why do you turn around? You know. <laughs> it's like, it's, I get this all the time. It's so great. <laughs> we were checking. I snap a lot to like my teammates. I've noticed when I'm in like T-Rex mode, you know, anything that moves, I look at. <laughs> it's like, it's like, who's this? Who's that? Yeah, you get crit. That's what you get for not pulling out your gun. He deserved it. I don't care what anyone says. There's another, another spy, but we messed that up. We got too confident from the first guy, but this guy knew it was up. What I did there? Not the play. <laughs> Look at that. It's always the guys in the straight lines. I don't understand, but when people walk in straight lines, it messes me up sometimes. <laughs> like, way more often than it should. There we go. We're hitting shots. We're warmed up here. It just took one death, you know? That's how we do it here. <laughs> it's not supposed to be making jokes. It's supposed to be informative. Anyways, look at how I'm checking everything, you know, you see, you see the way when I just traverse the map, how I look at everywhere someone can be, that's essentially just map knowledge, right, Harvest is a really easy map and I play it all the time, so it's like I could probably play this in my sleep, <laughs> this map, I've well over a thousand hours for sure, just on Harvest, but you know, knowing the maps, knowing where health packs are, why, like where people are going to go to when they're hurt, things like that. It just helps me know what to prioritize when I'm looking at things. You know, it's not just completely random. I have, there's logic behind a lot of it, actually, I would say, you know, but sometimes it's reaction speed. Oh, I don't know if you guys noticed that, but I bumped into a spy there. It could appear a little bit on the, 
on the screen has a little cut. It'll look like something like that. I don't know why. <laughs> it would look like a cut. It just looked like you stuttered. You guys play TF2? You know what I'm talking about. Anyways. I'm playing very, very safe right now. <laughs> See you later. I was playing very safe. You know, hiding behind cover, checking different angles, peeking out. You know, because I don't know if they have any snipers or anything. It's the beginning of the round. Anyone, you know, the classes could be all different. Things like that. And I, I felt more safe when I saw this mini sentry. Because I could be protected. So now I can start playing further up, essentially, than I normally could. I heard a spy in the post. That sniper got bodied. Maybe I was imagining things. I swear I heard a spy decloak in post. Why did they uber a spy there? This is... <laughs> I've been, I don't remember this game, I recorded it quite a while ago before I'm talking about it, so a lot of this is new to me, like, I'm, I'm being entertained as I'm watching this. <laughs> Madman finds enjoyment from his own videos. Well, you know, that's a philosophy of mine when I make videos. If it's something that I would watch, then I'm comfortable with uploading it, you know? That's, that's what I think is a good uh, philosophy to live by on YouTube. I want it to be entertaining at the end of the day. Anyways, getting off topic. Checking all the corners. Just keep watching. I hope you guys have been watching as well as listening to my rambles. Like, listen listen to what I'm saying, okay? <laughs> Being aware in post really helps you improve your game as well. I find there, I was just checking for the spy. I was guessing, like, places that spies typically go to. You know, you can find spies often enough when you do that. There we go. You heard that? <laughs> you, the human can react faster with um, the human. The human reaction speed for sound is faster than sight, so having your headphones up actually helps you. You can react to people shooting behind you as opposed to seeing the red thing appear on your screen. You know, it's like you can react faster. It's, it's really OP. Trust me, try getting used to being aware to sound and reacting to it. It will change everything also i can't believe this guy just uses that flog and runs straight to me like a missile <laughs> i'm freaking out here look at that <laughs> it's like it's cracked fat magic there he's like oh, where is he yeah i think yeah it's definitely a little excessive i went overboard remember i was doing this like this isn't normally how you want to aim because i think i do it so much so that my aim actually suffers, but it's, it's to prove a point of how aware and ready you can be. <laughs> I'm sure as you've noticed throughout this video, sometimes I'm sure I haven't pointed it out, but I look somewhere without knowing they're there and I just be able to shoot them faster, quicker. Knowledge fat magic here, bestowing knowledge while he misses the medic four times. <laughs> See, I heard that guy shoot up there, there's no way I... <laughs> just back up, man, come on. I would have just backed up, <laughs> even though it's me playing. <laughs> me now would have backed up there. I would be like, why the hell am I sitting here for? Hide from the sniper, shoot the NG. He was ahead of the game there. He was holding a very tight angle. That was smart of him. I can't be upset at that. In fact, I don't know why I would, because I don't really <laughs> get upset at many things in this game. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's let's snipe this guy. Come on. Am I gonna give him the the revenge body shot treatment? Nah. That was a weird headshot. <laughs> Getting used to how sniper feels is essential <laughs> to this game. We all like scoping it on the body there. Because sometimes you hit shots that I feel like aren't technically hitting them, but because you're just used to how Sniper is in this game, it works out, you know? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. If you want to see more informative type videos like this, you know, where I'm trying to teach you guys some tips and tricks about whatever. It doesn't have to be Sniper either. I can, I can play most of the classes enough to be able to bestow some knowledge, I think. <laughs> but... Yeah, if you want to see more of this, like, subscribe, yada yada, yeah yeah. Fat Magic's going YouTuber moment. I'm gonna do it for this one, okay? Because <laughs> I feel like it. Anyways, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you so. Goodbye. Yes.